What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Pinfari is a name I'm sure many of you recognize, and for those of you who don't, they're a now defunct roller coaster manufacturer who were initially responsible for producing a large amount of some of the community's most affordable attractions. Whether you know them for their Zyklon Pinfaris, their ZL42s, or honestly just any other coaster model they made, you can't deny that they had some pretty innovative stuff, and perhaps of the coolest could be considered today's topic, their inverted XP56 model, Starflyer. With a height of 66 feet, a ride duration of over a minute, and an impressive 4 Gs, this compact travel-based inverted roller coaster featured two inversions and was one of two ever made by its manufacturer. Marketed as the first inverted roller coaster in the Philippines, this extreme throw ride did unfortunately suffer many issues during its operational lifetime that have left it today in a standing but not operating condition, but nonetheless, it has a pretty cool history associated with it. But first, what is this coaster, and where did it come from? This is the story of Star City's inverted roller coaster, Starflyer. Established in 1991 as an offshoot of the annual Toys and Gift Fair, a Christmas trade exhibition by the Philippine Center for International Trade and Exhibit, which was first organized in 1976, would eventually turn into a fair that later evolved into an amusement park known today as Star City. This elaborately themed tourist destination would be built on 35,000 square meters of land and is located in Bay City on the reclaimed land of the cultural center of the Philippines complex, Star Parks Corporation. This corporation has since taken hold of the park and has complete ownership of it. Drawing in 1.5 million visitors per year, the park saw great wealth and as of 2018, were projected to continue growing exponentially. Today, however, it sits abandoned and closed off to public view. I'll explain more on that later though. And honestly, it's probably closed for good reason after a series of accidents and fires took place. But for now, let's focus on the main guest of the show, Starflyer. Opening in November of 2007 with three trains each comprised of five cars, Star City would introduce one of its largest investments yet, the Philippines' first inverted roller coaster under the name Starflyer. Featuring a dazzling two inversions thanks to an element known as a rollover, this immediately caught the attention of public eye and quickly became one of, if not the most popular attractions in the park at the time. Guests were to be lifted approximately 66 feet in the air before winding through a layout for over a minute and a half at a time, over 1,100 feet of track, all whilst experiencing up to 4 Gs of force and getting a thrill they just really couldn't find anywhere else in the area. But as in a lot of my videos, it wasn't all fun and games. A series of accidents would take place on Starflyer and in the park that would lead to its and the park's ultimate demise, starting off with the death of a person in 2006. And here's where it all begins. A 13-year-old visitor visiting the park in the month of September died after falling off the Wild Ride Water attraction. This prompted an order from the Passe City Engineering Office to suspend the amusement park's operations on September 19th, the same day another accident had occurred on the park's bumper car attraction. Fast forward to February 6th of 2009 and another death also occurred when a man died after falling 50 feet from the Starflyer, the first recorded accident on the coaster. The roller coaster also valued with 10 people that very same year, and in all, Starflyer was just proving difficult. 2018 saw another man fall from the park's giant wheel attraction and also pass away, and at this point, the park was dealing with much more than just finances. To add to that, on October 2nd, 2019, Star City was then destroyed by a large fire, causing substantial damage to the main buildings and requiring the park's closure, with plans to restore it at a later date. At the time of the fire, Star City had over 30 rides and attractions, many of which were indoors. Today, 70% of the park is left in ruins, but Starflyer still stands, with the potential to get relocated. That being said, Star City does still have a note on its front page that they are planning to reopen, but we'll see what happens. Either way though, I'm sorry this video was so short, I am currently in Florida on another roller coaster trip, but that was again just another very sad and yet intriguing park and its coaster that I thought were worth noting, and I hope all of you learned something new. As always, it's been a major pleasure creating new content for all of you, and once again, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be awesome and a major help to get us to that goal of 10,000 subscribers. If I haven't introduced myself yet either, my name's Josiah, and I hope you all have a good rest of your days until the next video. Wish me luck on Velocicoaster, guys. See ya.